good morning and welcome to day eight of the Appalachian Trail. It was an interesting night last night, but we were very safe and very warm. Um, <laughs> we woke up at about, well, Ga Micah woke up at about six and had to go pee, so I let him out of the tent. And then all of a sudden there was this huge crack of thunder. He came running back as quickly as possible, got in the tent, and we went cozy for another hour while it thunderstormed. And if you've never been in a hard rainstorm in a tent, it is the greatest feeling. <laughs> it's just, you're cozy, you're safe. It's really fun. Um, but anyway, the rain stopped and we are heading now to Dick's Creek Gap, which is an old, only a four mile hike. I just climbed Powell Mountain and now I'm heading down into the gap. So it should be an easy stroll. And I have a shuttle driver waiting for me at 11.30 this morning and a cabin, which will be really nice because my tent is wet and some of my gear is dirty. So right now it's drizzling a little bit. It's not bad, but I do hear thunder in the distance. I'm not worried we're down low, uh, so, uh, but I think the rain is going to kick up. So I'm gonna put this away and I'll check in with you later. Hope you're all having a great Friday. Love ya. Bye. Well, the weather outside is frightful, but my gear is so delightful. And since we have a long way to Maine, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Oh, it doesn't show signs of stopping. And my ears, they keep on popping. And since we have a long way to Maine, <clears throat> Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Well, we finally kiss goodnight. Who hates to go out in the rain? But if Michael will snuggle up tight all night long, I'll feel sane. I'm sorry. Well, the weather outside is frightful, but my gear is so delightful. And since we have a long way to Maine, everyone, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Well, this is the trail right now, but I can tell you about 30 minutes ago, it poured so hard <laughs> that I could barely see in front of me. So, <laughs> um, I'm warm. Sure, I'm wet, but I've got my umbrella, my hiking umbrella, which is working out great. And Micah has his pack cover on. He looks like a wet rat. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> but um, it's not cold. So that's where the danger lies, where it's wet and cold. But it's just wet. It's probably, I would say, 70 degrees. It feels very warm today. Um, and a few minutes ago, the trail was pretty much a river but I was able to walk along the sides. I don't know why, I mean, my feet are wet. It, it doesn't matter at this point, but it's just kind of nice to not have to slosh through puddles. But anyway, I'm only about a half a mile from the gap where I'm gonna get picked up. And I'm actually gonna get there before the shuttle driver, which I always prefer. I'd rather be waiting for them than have them waiting for me. Cause they're busy, they're picking up hikers along the way. and. This is a busy, Hiawassee is a, is a busy place for hikers, especially when it's raining. A lot of them want to get out of the rain and dry off like me. <laughs> um, not always, but definitely today. Plus, like I said, I think I might take a zero tomorrow just to give the body a rest. Although I'm feeling pretty good. So um, I'm grateful for that. And... Uh, I guess, you know, everything I read says somebody my age should take one or two zeros a week. I don't know about two, but one, all right. I mean, today is a Nero, so it's only four miles that I, four and a half or something miles, four miles that I'm doing today. Um, and if I take a zero tomorrow, that'll be one and a half days um, per week uh, I'm supposed to take uh, per my age. So, um, all right, I mean, that sounds like a good plan. Anyway, um, the rain is letting up a little bit, but 
there is definitely more thunder in the background. I can hear it, so I know we're going to get another deluge, which is fine. <laughs> it is what it is. The uh, rhododendrons and the mountain laurel are loving it. So, and I am too, for some kind of strange reason. It's really kind of fun to hike in the rain uh, like this, where it's safe and it's and you're warm and you're protected and um, it's actually very pleasant. So, all right, enough of my rambling. Um, see you up the trail. Bye. And what's your name? Olivia. Olivia. You know, my husband's name is Oliver. Very much like your name. You have an Oliver in your neighborhood. And who is this? Is this your twin sister? Yes. And what's your name? Elaine. Elaine? Laney. Laney. Yeah. And who is this handsome guy? Mm. Hi. Hello. Nice to see you. Are you all related? Mm. No. No? <laughs> okay. So I have to sign this board. And these nice people. Is it okay if I film you guys? These nice people are all doing trail magic under the tarp, which is really great. And I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Michael had a hot dog. And I had a cookie. And I had an orange. So I am all set. These are wonderful, wonderful people keeping us dry as I wait for my shuttle driver. Okay, Olivia, you want me to sign that now? Yeah, okay. I this morning. Okay. I don't think I look great. Yes, you look terrific. Okay. <laughs> this is Grace. Okay. She is <laughs> she is my shuttle driver today and yes. she's driving me to Ingalls so I can resupply in Hiawassee, right? Yes. And then tomorrow she's gonna bring me to Dick's Creek Gap. Yep. And I'm gonna be on my way to be eight miles to North Carolina. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna hit North Carolina tomorrow. Goodbye, Georgia. Georgia check. Oh, but Georgia's so beautiful. I will miss Georgia. Georgia is gorgeous. You live in a beautiful state. I, I love it here. <laughs> I do. Okay. I'm gonna say goodbye, Grace. Bye. <laughs>